Hi, my name is Justin Schuff, and I'm the founder here at Patch My PC. We develop a third-party application and patching solution for Microsoft Configuration Manager and Intune. In this video, we're going to actually be reviewing one of the new features that came out around Cloud Management Gateway within Configuration Manager Current Branch Build uh, 2002. So that actually released today, April 1st, 2020. Now, if you haven't set up Cloud Management Gateway, or this is your first time looking at it, you're going to want to actually start with the video that you should now see in the top right of this video. That's going to be a guide that goes over how to set up Cloud Management Gateway and how you can use that to manage devices out on the internet. This specifically is actually going to be talking about some of the improvements that you can do for actually installing a client out on the internet. Um, so we're going to be talking about the new feature in 2002 that allows you to use a token-based authentication to enroll clients that are out on the internet. Now, what the token-based authentication allows you to do is it allows you to enroll a client that does not have a certificate or that is not enrolled in Azure AD to authenticate. So typically up until this point, you would have needed to have a client authentication certificate that's used to validate the client has access and can talk to Cloud Management Gateway in order to register and get policy. Um, the other option were, was if you used Azure AD, that could also be used as a source of authentication for getting that client registered and talking. Um, but that could be quite challenging in some scenarios. So for example, one of the scenarios where token-based authentication will be quite helpful is there's actually a post on Reddit last week uh, that talked about a scenario where somebody had uh, servers in a DMZ and they just wanted them to be managed directly out on the internet through Cloud Management Gateway. The issue was uh, they were only workstation machines uh, and they were kind of in this own DMZ. So if you were going to try to get client-based certificates from like an internal PKI, that can be pretty challenging to go through and you know request the cert from a domain join machine, go out and export it with the private key and try to get it imported. It could just be you know pretty cumbersome to get that all going. Uh, another scenario that could be quite helpful is if you have machines already out on the internet, maybe their work group or maybe their domain join, but they just uh, never got policy to be able to talk through the internet with CMG, or they never had the correct certificates in place, you can now install the client using this token directly over the internet. So uh, let's actually go into the token-based authentication section that talks a little bit more about this. Um, so the way that this is going to work is you need to generate your token on your top level site server. So if that's a CAS, that would be the top level of the CAS. Or if that's a standalone primary, you would go to the primary and open up a command prompt as administrator. So uh, over here in the docs, we can see that uh, you wanna navigate to the installation directory and then bin x64. Uh, so there's going to be a utility here where we can generate these tokens that we would then use in the ccm setup.exe command to install the client over the internet without a certificate. And the token's going to be essentially the authentication piece that allows us to authenticate to the site. So that's going to be like our private key within our traditional certificate, if you will. Um, so what we're gonna do here is go ahead and navigate to the D drive, do a CD into that directory. So here we go. So now if we do dir and then we do something like bulk star, we can see that bulk token within the installation directory where we installed configuration manager. So if we just do a quick run and just run the bulk uh, token tool, we can see that it gives us a couple of parameters that we can use here. So the first one's going to be to generate a new certificate. So, um, or I'm sorry, a new token. So if we do something like bulk, oh, so bulk, and then we did something like new, this would actually generate a token for us that we could use to install the client. Now, if we look here, we can see the default length that the token would be valid for is three days. So within a three day period, you could use that token ID and install however many devices you want uh, out on the internet. Um, so that's the first kind of option. Now there is a lifetime. So the lifetime is how long it's valid for. Now this is the number of minutes that it's valid for. Now the max length is actually going to be seven, uh, seven days. So uh, from a minutes perspective, that's going to be 10,080 minutes. So for example, if we do 10,081, we can see that we get an error saying, it, you know, it has to be smaller than seven days. So let's say we wanted to create a new token and we wanted to make it the max of seven days. 
we would just do the bulk uh, registration token tool.exe forward slash new forward slash lifetime and then 10,080. So if we run that command, it's going to create a token for us and this is going to be what's used to uh, enroll clients securely. So this is essentially your private key that you would wanna keep kind of secure because anybody that had this key and they knew your uh, cloud management gateway server name, they could essentially enroll clients. Um, so we'll see whether or not I actually like blur this out. If not, I guess you could enroll into our demo tenant, maybe get some free third-party patching, um, but that's probably about it in this demo. So uh, going back to that, now that we have that token, you, 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 know, you wanna make sure you save that somewhere. Now, in my case, what I did is I copied this entire example command and then I uh, pasted that into a command file. So within this folder, CCM setup dash CMG, I've, I've simply created a command file. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're going to go ahead and replace that token with the one that I just generated. Now in my case, just to save some time, I did go, go ahead and already change the management point, so the MP, We've already replaced that without our uh, cloud management gateway management point. We also replaced the CCM host name with ours. And then the site code and local SMS MP were all replaced. So we can see that we've got our CMG, we've got our site code of PR1, and then we have our local MP. Now the CCM host name and the MP, this is gonna be where the client initially registers. So that's telling it to go directly out to our cloud management gateway. Um, outside of that, this is all pretty basic, just a batch file. We're basically just running CCM setup. Uh, what I've done is I've already copied CCM setup from the installation directory. So you would wanna make sure that you, know, you get the latest version of CCM setup when you go uh, on your client to actually install this. So within my installation directory, I just went into the client folder and then I copied the CCM setup from here. So this definitely needs to be at least the CCM setup for build 2002 or newer. So it looks like that's 5.0, 8968 or newer would be what you would need in order to use this new token parameter, um, reg token, in order for you to actually register over the internet without that certificate. Um, outside of that, uh, you know, the only other thing we're doing in this basic batch file is just launching CM trace. So I did also copy CM trace to the same folder and then of course we have the batch command where I copied just the command and the script that we're running. Um, so pretty simple here. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is, you know, let's say that you wanted to go install this on like 10 devices within that seven day period. All you'd have to do is right click, run the script, and that would initiate the installation for the device over the internet. Um, outside of that, we've already obviously got our cloud management gateway running. So at that point, once we generate our token, we're pretty much ready to uh, test a client over the internet. So if I jump over to one of our client devices, let's go ahead and open that up. We can see that this is just the device out on the internet. So um, if we try to ping our domain, we should be on a guest network. So we're not gonna have any idea about that. In addition to that, we're actually on a workgroup based machine. So if we go ahead and look at our system info, we can see that we're totally out on the internet. We're not even domain joined. And of course, we would not have any certificates. So if we look at our certs, we would not have any client-based certificates that could typically be used within Cloud Management Gateway. Um, so what we're gonna do here is I've already copied those bits uh, within our environment. So I just copy that folder and basically pasted it. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and launch that installation command as administrator. So that's gonna go ahead and kick off CCM setup and then it's gonna automatically open CM trace from the local directory where it's in, and then it's gonna uh, automatically open the CCM setup folder that would get launched when that installation was init initiated from that same batch file. Um, so at this point, we can see the client is now attempting to download uh, the latest client bits from the internet through CMG. So for example, we can see that we actually see the package ID. So if we come back to our console, we should see that if we go look at our packages, we can see that the client uh, package is in fact the one that ends in O2. So by default, your, your built-in client package will automatically distribute to all DPs, and that would include your cloud management gateway. Um, so at this point, it's connecting, and we should see here in a minute 
it's going to start downloading the files and getting our setup uh, started. So we'll just pause this for a minute while we're waiting. If we look at our CCM setup folder, we should see that this has already started to initiate some of the files to uh, go ahead and get downloaded. Okay, so the download is now completed. Um, so if we go ahead and pause this, let's see if we can get to that. Here we go. So we can see it downloaded all the uh, client setup files from our cloud management gateway URLs. So at this point, it's currently running CCM setup. Uh, just like any other installation, whether it was on-prem or not, uh, you know, we should start seeing the CCM folder start to populate. Uh, and then uh, once these components start up, you know, at that point, the client is then registered or it's going to start the process of registering. Um, so once the client uh, CCM setup is completed and it's installed over the Internet, uh, the first thing that's going to kind of kick in here is we're going to see CCM messaging dot log. Uh, and then we're going to see the client ID manager startup. So we can see they're just now populating. Uh, it looks like CCM setup just completed. If we go ahead and look at that, uh, we can now see that uh, CCM messaging is starting to post uh, different web calls to the CMG uh, server. So if we look at client ID manager startup, we should see a registration take place uh, over the internet to CMG. So we can now see the registration was just sent and now it's waiting for the response from the server to approve it. So back on our management point internally, CMG should forward that request to our MP. So if we look under the SMS underscore CCM and then logs, we should see an MP underscore registration. That's going to be when the client uh, gets approved. This is going to be the output of that on the server side of things. So we can see the GUID ends in, um, it looks like 4C. So if we go back to the client side, we can see that this client does in fact end in 4, uh, 4 here. Let's see, 4.4. Four. So let's come back to the server. Uh, client, there we go, client 4.4. Four. This is where we were looking. So that is in fact the registration. So we should see here in a couple seconds after that 60 second sleep period on the client, uh, you know, we saw on the server side, it did approve it using that reg token. So the client should then start to populate all the other logs like client policy. There we go. So we should see like policy agent kicking in here. And we're now getting policy um, directly over the internet through CMG. So we can see these different, uh, you know, uh, CCM messaging. We can see it making these different calls to CMG uh, when it's doing things like posting different data as well as downloading we can see in like policy downloader, uh, evaluator, uh, and um, all these different things getting applied over the internet through CMG. So at this point, we're getting pretty close, I think, to having our client at a good state. So if we come back to control panel, let's go to all control panel items, and then configuration manager. Uh, what we can do on this side of things, let's go ahead and do a data discovery just to get the client some of the basics reporting in. Uh, we'll go ahead and trigger hardware inventory. Usually that might take a couple hours before it triggers the first. Uh, and let's go ahead and do a scan cycle. Let's see if we can get this client scanning against our software update point over the internet through CMG. So if we come over here, we look at WUA handler, we should hopefully see that it's automatically pointed our scanning to our CMG server. So it's gonna start evaluating software updates. Uh, if we look at inventory agent, we should see that it's probably already submitted the inventory to our management point. Looks like that just happened. Um, so that's all looking good. On the server side, let's see if that uh, inventory is actually processed for our hardware inventory. So we should see the device. It's still, you can st see it's still kind of in a registering status. We go ahead and start. Let's just see if we've got that hardware inventory yet. Yep, so it looks like CMG has kind of sent that up and it's been processed into our database. Um, so we can see even that client out on the internet, we've already got inventory coming in. We can see it is in fact active and it is automatically approved because it was trusted using that reg token. Um, so we'll just give this a few more minutes and then we'll just come check out maybe a few other client logs. And then at that point, I think we'll be good to go. Yep, so at this point we are all good to go. So for example, if we look at updates deployment, we can see that we're actually scanning against some deployments already for software updates. Um, you know, over CMG, if you're out on the internet, any Microsoft-based updates would just download right from the internet through Microsoft updates. 
you know, if you're doing third party updates, you would want to make sure that that's on CMG since that's kind of specific to your environment. Um, but at this point, I think we're pretty much good to go. Um, so if we go back to SCCM. Uh, we can see that we've got the client fully showing up and active. Uh, and that was all done using the new uh, registration token that you can use in CMG without the need for certificates. Uh, I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.